So, hello, Recreate 7, and welcome back to Roll the Waves 2. We are continuing the Confederate States of America. So, we started the stream a little bit early tonight, um, and we're probably going to stream for a slightly shorter period as well. And that's because, uh, as the lucky custodian of two small children, uh, as often happens, or occasionally happens, my house is a bit of a den of malady at the minute. And while thankfully none of it's COVID related, it's uh, left everyone's energy levels a bit on the low side. So, um, Probably going to cut it a little bit short this evening, uh, just so I can, you know, at least make reasonable content and not just be blankly staring at my screen. Because who, who would like that? Um, good. Also, quick change. So, um, oh, and I was fit to this. Anyway, credit to whoever commented. Apologies, I forgot your name. Someone on YouTube that was saying pointed out that the Pretzel Rocks music is not the most befitting of this game. So I made a quick change, and um, so I'm using the Victoria Two music. For this stream. Now, um, obviously anyone who is involved in this stuff and many other people are probably aware that there's lots of content, uh, not content, copyright issues with using random music so I can't just play what I like. Uh, I believe that this uh, Paradox stuff lets this music freely get used from my understanding so hopefully that remains the case but we'll see what happens. This might all get flagged and we might only have it for this stream. I will find out. But there we go, but at least it gives us something a little bit more thematic. Cool. All right, so where are we? What's going on in the world? Well, it is 1908. We have just finished our a phony war with Russia. We got some money out of it, and that was about it. Um, the kind of big upset, I suppose, towards the end of the last one was the discovery that there are others in the world uh, with dreadnoughts that we do not have. The USA is indeed pumping out lots of them. Do we know what they look like? These. Um, yeah, these battleships, as those pre-dreadnoughts. So they've got the three centerline turrets tech, which I was also thinking about looking into this. And obviously, it's interesting given that the obviously HMS dreadnought herself actually had five centerline turrets. Uh, so you do have this kind of slightly before dreadnought type piece. But anyway, as far as the game's concerned, these are a bit for dreadnought class battleships that we'll get from here on out. So we've got the USA and Great Britain have them. So where are we in terms of our tech? If we look at the research um it falls under where is it ship design i believe which is on high um and this is somewhere i always i always get kind of trip myself up on this a little bit in terms of what tech falls in which category and i can never remember despite the many runs i've had in this game and i would recommend for anyone and i suspect anyone watching these videos is probably an old hat and knows what they're doing but just on the off chance you don't if you stick ruler waves uh, technology into Google, the first ping is this uh, page here, which I believe I've shown on one of previous runs uh, on, on the obviously fandom site, and it does, it lists all the texts and more importantly everything within those texts and when they should be expected. So if we go down to uh, where we ship design, we can see that after cross deck fire, um, hang on, why do we not have Heavy secondary battery, medium wing turrets. We seem to have skipped three centerline turrets and gone main battery wing turrets, cross stick fire. We're now in superimposed and force lines. So that's going to be interesting to see if we can actually build ships with that. Because um, I would expect this to have appeared within the list. Indeed, it was available years ago, although um, it's no guarantee it's going to appear then. Okay. I can't remember. Did we, have we designed. I'm going to talk more about tech in a minute. I just want to quickly check our ships and our newest uh, long streets yes yeah there's still just two okay we'll have a look at that in a minute the other thing important thing I wanted to make sure we were doing for tech for research was that on the um, machinery development which I just have in the medium actually I really want this on high because there is a crucial tech on this uh, which is tech number six should be the next one we get, uh, which is the oil firing. So you can change from coal to oil, essentially, which is pretty impressive, um, pretty significant, and, and one you want to get pretty early on. Okay, what else do we, can we tweak around? Um, right now, I mean, hull is nice. It's lots of 1% weight savings, but it's not crucial, so I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Um, and it's relatively far on. Fire control is, I mean, it's good to probably want to keep that. Damage control. I had this on low. I'm a fool because this is 
and I'll probably end up on medium, but I want it on high for now because I really want to get to pedal protection, which is uh, somewhere in here. Have a look at my chart, which is now on the screen. If we go to fire, uh, not fire control, damage control. It's number two, actually. Double bottom, improved subdivision, to pedal protection one. What have we got? Where are we? Double bottom, so yeah, the next level, sorry, I was showing you, level zero, level one, level two. The next one down here, which should be TPDO protection one. Pretty important, I'd like to grab this. Turrets and gun mountains, I can kind of put that into medium for just now. Ship design, I want to keep that as high until we get our centerline turrets, although I'll need to check to see what's going on there. Uh, that's fine. Light forces and TPDO warfare, I'm going to keep it on high just because it's kind of fairly far behind. Submarines I'll keep in high just because it's our advantage. Uh, medium, low. Fleet tactics. I'm tempted to put on low, but medium. And naval guns. I'm, I, I normally have this on high full time, but... The gun techs. Well, it's not doing great, actually. We've got lots of big calibers, but we don't have the quality yet. So perhaps I want to leave it where it is. Hey, Zyphorius, how's it going? Good to see you. So what's that left us on high? Machine development for oil firing. Fire control, just because fire control is awesome. Uh, subdivision for torpedo protection. Ship design for the centerline turrets. Light forces and torpedo warfare. Do want better destroyers and stuff. And the better torpedo mounting. So the torpedo mountings is in this one. Whereas the improved torpedoes in this one. So we'll leave that on high for now. Submarines and naval guns. Okay, we'll leave that where it is. No, I'm stony broke at the minute, so I can't. I certainly can't build another battleship. But if we went design ship, because we, I had been toying with the idea of going like a, uh, you know, fourteen or even fifteen inch cross deck fire. We may change. Yes, we can't. If I try and stick in three centerline turrets, are you going to tell me I don't have it? Uh, <laughs> that was the wrong one. A Y and uh, okay, and select it. Okay, interesting. Hopefully, now but the one advantage um, with certain tech is that um, some of it plural proliferates, um, especially things which are visible. And again, if you look up on this um, table, for example, it tells you it tells you which one here um, prolif proliferate and which ones don't. Since things which are very visible have a, are more likely to be ones which uh, obviously seen by other countries and therefore advanced for development. Don't ask me exactly how it works, it's all a bit of a, a dark art, but we do know what happens. So if you go to something like ship design, for example, then obvious things like, hey, looking at other people put turrets, that helps this uh, spread around. So there we go. So hopefully we should get it soon because there are other com countries building it. That said, it's really annoying that we have skipped over it, but there you go. Unless, of course, that table is wrong and the order is slightly different, which is entirely possible. Just, uh, let's not pretend ourselves one random wiki from some years ago is uh, guaranteed to be up to date. Anyway, all that said and done, um, I'm tempted, I mean, war with the US would be nice, although I'm slightly scared of all the new shiny ships. So we might maybe want to uh, lay off them for a little bit. Although potentially we could just win through submarines and things, so our reliability is still not great. But we're certainly not ready for another war with Europeans, so that's not a place we're going to go. All right. Slightly better armor, that's never a bad thing. Uh, France is spending more... Japan's still building pre-dreadnoughts, Germany has... That's just a rebuild, that's fine. Uh, Lapwing has been commissioned. Which is good, because we're, our balance is pretty unhealthy at the minute. We might have to, yeah, we might have to stop one of these builds actually, which is uh, upsetting. Have I wasted a couple months there? But have I put people in reserve? I haven't. Oh, in. Right, you guys, in fact, you guys can get more followers. I don't really care about you. Um, good people can get reserved, which is annoying because they're actually my newer ships, I believe. Yes, they are. But I want to keep the elites elite, because that makes sense. Uh, so you're a poor, so you can go into reserve. And I'm trying to 
be avoid being too min maxi with my kind of mothballing of everything. And so this will certainly cut down our expenses somewhat. The one exception I'm gonna make is these um oh, these things are pretty rubbish these days. Eleven inch I mean these are essentially heavy cruisers. And at some point would probably be reclassified as such, although I think my Caliber limit might not be quite 10 inches, but it might only be 10 inches of heavy cruiser. I'm tempted to mothball these just because I don't really want them involved in the fight anyway. Let's do that. We could we could also scrap them, but maintenance is so low. They're useful to have three points against blockade. So we'll keep, say, uh, I don't know, two of you on, act on active, one of you in reserve. Two of you in reserve, you're only good. Save, save some cash. Then let's put the McCrays then. Are the no they're in your ones. Let's put the esports. No no. That was right. On to reserve as well. Okay, let's cut down our shortcomings quite nicely. Uh, so it's a reasonable a reasonable fleet still active. A little bit of mothballing. And then a healthy number of reserves. I think that's that's a reasonable state of affairs for a, a navy. Good. Uh, I would also check. What have we got? Oh, I'm not sure that in in main. Of coast, Bethian seaboard. Nothing. We should probably put something up there because they are a little bit exposed. Yeah, let's do that. Even if it's just six inches coastal barriers, just something's always nice to have. Alright, we shall do that. I know I'm a bit light on money, but these things aren't too expensive. In main, please. Uh, grab me two of them. Okay. Good. Top spies managed to give a hold of, a hold of a blueprints for the French ship, the Requiem. Must have it. Oh, that looks very much like our long street, doesn't it? Four twelve inch, fourteen eight inch. Very like our long street, actually. Uh, all right, nine and a half belt. There were long street looked like. Yeah, thirteen inches. Okay, so we've got an, we've got an inch on them, and we've got half an inch of belt. Good. I didn't check their displacement, but I feel like we could take them. Obviously the important part of that discussion. Hey, new docks. Might get hold of the blueprints for the New Mexico. Okay, so they've got three centerline turrets and wing turrets. Just 12 inches, though. It's not bad. I mean, they've still got an eight-gun broadside, which is twice as many as anything I've got in terms of main armament broadside at the minute. Oof. Okay, I want I want a new I want a new one, but I can't afford it. CL, it's going to go straight on reserve. Spy. I mean, we could we go to war now? I'm going to say if we're going to do it, we should do it now because they're presumably they've got like a, a you know a year or so left hmm. on the actual building of a lot of these ships he says looking at almanac and yeah I'm realizing that's probably the case we still have an edge at the minute but it's not going to last not once those bad boys hit the water uh that new cl needs to go into reserve Fifty million has been collected by popular subscription to finance a new battleship. Oh, hello. If you don't build a battleship, you may become focus of some displeasure. Wow, I would absolutely love to build a battleship. Must have one B, BB or BC building. Well, seems like a wonderful time to design it. Ish. Wonderful time-ish. Some Definitely some improvements I would like to have. Um, but let's go for... Sure. Uh, that's not really what I wanted, my friends. I asked for a battle cruiser. Battleship, and you built me a battle cruiser. Although they can be handy because we turn up in cruiser fights. What is this? 
Oh, do it again. Give me something better to start with, at least. Okay, that looks interesting. Wow, 20 knots. Really, man? Okay, we're going to want normal freeboard. We want... Uh, let's have a quick look at our... Speeds. Our current hit ships are 22, so we want to go at least 22. Probably just stick around that. We're not um, needing to go much faster at the minute. Uh, and our fastest light cruisers are 25, which is fine. A lot of them are still pretty slow. And where's our heavy cruisers? What speed are they up to now? 20 knots, yeah, that's terrible. What's our new one's doing? 24, okay. These 25s. Yeah, so getting up to... I mean, 24 would be great. We shall see. Where's that window going here? It's here. Alright, let's just... Let's just live a dream for right now. Go up to, say, 30,000. Let's tweak it down afterwards. Uh, we just want medium range. We are unfortunately going to be on coal. Right, what we could do is do the old cross deck fire and get rid of... Yeah, yeah, I'm going to deal with it in a minute. Uh, one starboard and one port. So... Calm yourself. Okay, happy now? Yes. Okay, so this gives us essentially an 8-gun broadside. It's still, it's still not as good as what the Yanks are putting out there. We have them on calibre, though. Just be throw out, throwing out, you know, more lead, if nothing else. Um, what are we punching through? Up to 13 close range, but okay, not bad. And they're rocking 12s, although it might be not quality. I wonder if I can find out what they've got. Uh, no, we can't because we don't like us, but someone else got better quality? No. France? No. Germany? Anyone got quality one? 12s? Or do I have to change this? I do, okay. Yeah, okay, so you're still only punching through 10 and a half. So let's go local yard. 30,000. 14s. Ba 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 ba. Now there's no, ah, no torpedo protection. I don't want combination. Which is rubbish. I'm not gonna lie. 11 inch. Well, well, extended me. Don't need too much in that deck. Two is good. Conning tower. Calm yourselves. Turrets. 11 is fine. Turrets up 2.5. Secondary is 6. It's probably a little bit excessive. Uh, I always like to make sure. Essentially, my secondaries can't punch through kind of cruiser -esque shells. What's a 10? You do. Ah, to be fair, you need 7 inches of your own protect against 8 inch shells. 7 inches of armor. 6 is not ridiculous. Okay, I'll bite. Uh, that's a lot of torpedoes. Uh, I also would like you in turrets if we can. Any issues with that? Oh, you want to call this a battle cruiser? I wonder why. I'm not against having it as a battle cruiser. It means it's going to get into fights with cruisers. Often to our advantage. Okay, sure. Call it a battle cruiser. Certainly guns above three inches. Ah, okay, of course, of course. That makes sense. Can't have turrets if you're trying to fire across the deck. We're going to want more rounds. Ooh, that's pricey. 130 rounds. 14, 6 inches. Let's maybe go down to just 12. Hmm. I'd rather have fewer 5 inch quality ones, I think, than 3 inches. Okay, this is definitely doable. You'll never understand this game, Zach. Well, it's. It's just, you know, you're a man that knows spreadsheets, it's not far off it. Tweaking numbers. It's like, it becomes like the Matrix. You don't see the numbers, you see the, you see the ships behind it. Um, what does not cost us? Oh, like 600 tons, that's not happening. Fair enough. I want to lose some of these torpedoes, potentially all of them. 
Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of them all. I think we're we're done to be here of cattle ships on torpedoes. I know we did it on the last ones, but don't worry on these ones. I'd love to. I'd prefer to have torpedo defense or oil firing. Are the two main changes I would like to have seen before we built this? But say la vie. Coming in at oh, you know, just a hundred million. Pricey. But packs bigger punch than anything we've got at the moment. And we could always just bring down uh, not by much. Knock a thousand tons off it. I don't think it's worth it. Displacement also equates to hit points, and it does mean we have some more room to play around with later on. Maybe we just leave things as they are for just now. Uh, throw in some more treasuries. We could, I mean, we could go up to that, uh, or not that. But. Not the calibre of our secondaries. Nah, don't want to, don't want to. I think we'll just put on a whole bunch more tertiaries to melt anything, uh, destroy like that comes near us. And these can obviously be taken off at our whim to improve, to improve things. Okay, it's not a great ship, but I think it's pretty good for what we can do right now. Alright, let's seal it in. Although, um, probably want to increase my deck extended. Oh. What did it cost me? One half? No, I'll just leave it. Leave it. Whatever. Let's not, let's not polish a turd. The Texas. Okay. Do it. I'll take a few months. Four months. We'll see what tech advances we get in the next four months, and we may have to retweak the design. And, uh, yeah. How do we think that would fare against the uh, old Arizona? Yeah. Not the Arizona, which one did we find? Wyoming? I thought we'd seen one with more turrets than this, but I may be losing my mind. Yeah, did we not just see that? It doesn't. In the Oh, I can't remember now. No matter. Okay, a Pathmox comes in. Barons, Archer. We're close, but we're not there yet. Just 14 inch guns. Ooh, interesting there. Thankfully, we've uh, just got some new light cruisers in. Save ourselves some money on construction. How far away for our heavy cruisers? Mm, still a year. Jean Bar and four inch. Okay, interesting choice, friends. Uh, we are spying on France. Let's spy on Britain instead. They're probably gonna have more tech. Probably going to get into the awkward questions of having to mothball stuff shortly. Uh, let's make a national hero. Aha! Three centiline main turrets. Well, there goes that battlecruiser design. It's going to get scrapped as soon as it comes in. Uh, oh, I forgot we were still up in our security range. Yeah, it will extend that. We have no interest in the Pacific. Ships open fire at a fishing boat from America. Sinking the boat and killing several fishermen. Uh, it was clearly the fishermen's fault. They were they were aggressively hauling their nets in. Let's rework the design. Quite quite dramatically. Um we would like or turrets, please. Stick in a forward centerline, if you would be so kind. 
double turrets. Boom. Um, now obviously that doesn't work. So oh, it's unless we want to go aft center line to. No, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, let's de delete the two wing turrets. Button never works because that doesn't look right. It's slightly annoying. What if we did the other the aft center line? Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. I'm going to get rid of that one. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. Um, so essentially, this is the same firepower as one we just had. But it uh, weighs a lot less. We, uh, we could go for just speed. Or probably more likely is just make this thing slightly cheaper. We get um, the same potency of ship, having saved five thousand and like ten million. Oh, and we can turn these bad boys. Can we go two? I think two is not good. our tech's not good for that. Yeah, one. It's RV or W. Ah, so we're down to minus 40 for non case made. Mm, that's a little steep. We'll steep in case for now. <laughs> Do you want that? No, I'd rather just have 12, I think. See if we can get another 5 rounds per gun. And yeah, we'll call it something like this. It's probably going to tell me it's a. Uh, no, oh, if it still thinks it's a battleship. Yeah, battle cruiser, sorry. Still happy with that. Okay. But now actually it doesn't quite have the same potency, does it? Because technically we were getting eight guns, although inefficient with a cross deck fire. Whereas this is only a six gun broadside. I still think this is probably a better ship. Yes. Okay, we're going to go with this. Uh, so what's going to cost us to redesign? Yes. Four more months, another five million. Well, sure, it's only government money. Eh? Let's see what tech we get in the next four months. Eh? Oh, industrial production productivity up. Good, an extra million a month, roughly. Uh, oh, a couple hundred thousand a month. To thirty-two thousand. Oh man, they're all annoying. I'm I'm working on it. Annoying people. I lost four prestige there. Okay, well, I kept fifty million though. Increased industrialization improves national resources. So seeing our budget going up. Spy from Germany. I'll happily denounce him. There's not much else going on. Yeah, this is the. I'm sure we'd seen this before. We've got. We're talking 8 12 ins, whereas we are 6 14s. Yeah, okay. And much better armour than theirs. Which seems machinery, national accuracy, damage control, triple turrets. Well, <laughs> uh, well, is this going to be the ship that never gets built? Yes, it is. Right, let's rework it. We do. Then we end up putting the way back up again. Uh, no, no, that's not the one I want. Can we make this work? Yes, we can. And now we're up to an 8 gun broadside of 14 inches. And I'm a pretty happy man at that. 28,500 and change. 
attempt to go up to 20,000, just leave a couple hundred tons just in case we do uh, want to modify it later on. I mean, is it. We push for that at 30,000? Nah. Well. 100 tons, you know. Okay, you tempt me, you tempt me. You tempt me so much. Nine gun broadside. It's expensive. It's a reasonable, reasonable speed, though. Weak to torpedoes. Really, really vulnerable to torpedoes. We have to remember that and play safe, but it would help us with the discrepancy of uh, power that Americans are getting with their battleships. What's the what's the check saying? All okay. All right, let's do it. It's gonna cost another five million, isn't it? Yeah. Please don't get another big tech breakthrough. I need to actually build this thing. Green DDs. Okay. Sudden slump in the economy has led to widespread unemployment and poverty, as well as cutbacks in military spending. I'm asked how to handle the situation. See any further cuts in the budget are unacceptable. Ask if the charities can offer some kind of relief, or the government should consider social reforms. I mean, why would I ever? Oh, all budget down, but prestige up and tension up, which might lead to war actually. Hmm, probably. So why don't we grab our ships? See, hey. Jump all into active, which is probably going to cost us a whole bunch of money. Yep. Uh, we are split between the East Coast and the Caribbean. How are you f set, America? You get three battleships out now. That's worrying. And four battle cruisers. Yeah, we are going to be up against it. We have very little down here. So we really want to grab things which are in the Caribbean uh, and shift them out. We want to leave behind a little bit, so like a CA, some CLs. Let's move half of them. Oh, no. All the archers should be going. Ah, I'm just doing chunks. Head up to the North American East Coast, please. Uh, yeah, I'll move one of you. chunk of you. Okay. Good. So again by type. I don't be on trade protection yet because we're not at war. Although I think it's about to break out. Keep going with budget. War. Proclaimed. Read by war declared. Proclamation read by his excellency from the steps of Parliament. Confederate States of America and the United States of America are in a state of war. This is the third well, I suppose, presumably, there was a civil war when we broke free. So this would be the f at least the fourth war, but the third one in our game. Okay. Again, there's no territory we're interested in. We just want uh, war reps. Boost our economy. We look at Almanac. We should, we, uh, the economy's bounced back quite strongly, so we could love to get a chunk out of that. We continue to prepare for our revenge against the colonials. Okay, well, let's get into our first fight of this uh, session. Oh, uh, will we do that? Trade protection. Convoy defense. Mm, potentially against some of their new ships as well. It is large. Let's jump in, see what we've got. Mm, I mean, okay game engine. I don't really feel like this is particularly large. Right, we've got the album out of a Shakora and the Patrick Henry. Which are all are... Not the newest generation. 
but they are not the original generation either. This is where we're probably going to find we, for whatever reason, come up against a um, heavy cruiser. Cause it loves it to do that when it's like uh, cruiser engagements. But the fact we have plenty, plenty heavy cruisers in the area, but we shall see. A reasonable rake of them. Uh, and there does appear to be at least one heavy cruiser. Nope, light cruiser. Okay. The Delmois class. The Delmois class, sorry. Ones, I don't know. 10 4 inches. Okay, I'm not really worried about that. Dangerous to destroyers, certainly. San Fran. Eight to five inches. Packs more of a punch, but even then, I'm, I rate our boys. Got to 20 knots. We will circle our convoy, protect them. Really just have to keep them at, keep them at bay. Wait, is that really a Corvette? Okay, they do. We are claiming five CLs. I think that's going to be destroyers, yeah, and they're resolving into that way just now. I think we're making a bit of a torpedo run. I guess that's not because that's an insane range if it was. We'll do a wiggle just in case. They land the first blow on the CLs. The gunnery saws through the last war. Don't know if it's going to be the same in this case. Hit San Francisco, hit the Moore. Alright. It's four, six inches we've got on a broadside. Two, three. Oh, it is indeed. Yeah, okay. Then they are. F they're only rocking, what, five and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What secondaries do we have? Ah, just uh, not. not few four inches, not much. Right, Humber, you are only 5,000 tons. What are we actually? Okay, that's pretty similar. I think we've got the edge here, but you know, a, a bit of luck goes against you. You never know. Like, taking a few hits here, we're also landing a few hits. So watch yourselves for the stores coming in with the old torpedoes. We'll happily do a little wiggle. Got to make sure we keep an eye on where our convoy is. We don't get too far away from him. Let's peel around. Break off slightly. Head north. Only 15 knots. I wonder if you're taking damage. Well, not, not showing damage. It could just be you're not fully up to speed yet. The CSA Randolski win. Well, I tell you what, the next ship which we build, I'll happily name after you, Randolski. We can have the glory of our fleet. Uh, although, no, it's going to be a heavy cruiser. It comes off the line next. Oh, no, we've already got names, actually. It might be the our new shiny battleship you get given. The treat. You must promise your namesake performance. Sorry, I keep swimming in there, but so they are slightly ahead of us, but we seem to be kind of cutting them off, protecting our convoy, which is good. And I'm seeing more hits on them than we're receiving at the minute, which is always a nice sign. Uh, right, one hit in, two hits out. Fear exchange of fire. Hmm, that's not good though. Your turret still operational, Henry? Yes. And we are at, let's have a quick check, so we are uh, this Al Albemarle firing 6 inches at a target Where am I? How far away is it? Uh, da, da, da. Tells me on the screen I'm just being blind Is it in here? Here we go, 6,000 yards At 6,000 yards, we will punch through 3.4 inches of belt. We are firing against 
Good enough. So we should happily be punching through the armor at this range. This game looks so boring in a good way. <laughs> Probably intrigued. It's uh, it's of interest. Yeah, it's of interest for those with the bent for it. It's certainly not for everyone. Okay, if it destroys, I'm going to run for it. I am out in front of them, so I don't think they've got a torpedo uh, solution at this angle. They are drawing fire from our light cruisers. Obviously giving their own light cruisers a breather. And Chauncey is going for it. Now he's definitely behind us. Yeah, pulls off. He may have a better chance of getting a solution on maybe the Patrick Henry. That might have been a torpedo launch. Let's play safe. I don't want to get hit by a torpedo. That would be the end of a light cruiser. I think we're doing okay. We're doing a bit of work. What's uh, what's our time for chat? Nine hours. Plenty of light. Plenty of ammo. Just keep working them over. Probably chipping away at the destroyers as well. I think a few of them would be nice. A couple of nice hits just from the four inches of a San Fran, but it's going to uh, keep causing damage. Their destroyers just kind of spectators at this moment. Maybe send them in for a torpedo kill if we get um, some engine damage spotted. We are receiving the odd hit. Quickly check on how we're feeling damage wise. Ah, fine. Barely a scratch. Hey, the fundle, how's it going? Uh, you said about Escort and Combine, what year is it? It is 1909, I think it is. It's not so much an Escort, just that uh, we uh, happen to be in the right place for the time. That's not true, actually. There is, within this fleet, there'll be a, the odd destroyer. It is, I suppose, an interesting thing, actually. But yeah, they are applying uh, kind of convoy tactics long before we were employed uh, in, in reality. Uh, yes, yeah, is all history. Starts off in 1900, um, as was the state of the world normally. So we've changed that so that the CSA was a thing, um, and this is actually our third tussle with the US in the last eight years. Pleased to say we've come out on top in the last two of them, um, but they have outteched us this time. Their big boy battleships are a lot more powerful than ours at this moment in time. We have to do a little bit of uh, attrition and potentially some lucky torpedoes. Another day of digging dirt, feeling beat but good. That sounds nice to fondle. Making hay while the sun shines and all that. Only showing light damage. I think, yeah, we're starting to eat into our ammo supplies. Time has come, my friends. See if we can't do a little bit bit of work with our destroyers. Sail across the front of them, see if we can't launch something. We'll scare them away. Their destroyers come into screen, and a good a good response there with the AI. We'll let our destroyers continue to tussle. We have isolated the Chancy. Um that's not particularly interesting to be honest. Bring you guys back down this way. Uh, we should be able to outgun their destroyers there at least. Maybe be nice thing one. Oh, don't launch your torpedoes at destroyers, lads. Come on. Bundle the Adonis. Too right, Def. Too right. Okay, so we've done a reasonable job of breaking up formation. We haven't lost any of our destroyers yet, which is usually what happens when we try these uh, interesting manoeuvres. Nearly they all cross their T. She may let us do. No, he does not. But he does turn towards my destroyer line. Hello. Now, these are light cruisers. Torpedoing a light cruiser is not an easy feat. They are pretty nimble. Do you see as you do a 360? Yeah, okay. Do 
It definitely looks like he's slowing down though. Only reporting light damage. Let's keep on him. We can sink one, keep them away from our convoy, and then we can certainly feel like we've come out ahead. Slow you guys down a little bit. Not to tire out our cold stokers. Also gives you more gunning accuracy. If you're going at full flank speed, your ship vibrates like the clappers and that puts off the gunners. I think our target might be this rear des Moines. Looking slightly worse for wear. Have to watch ourselves because we're coming for quite a nice angle to give them a torpedo solution, which we do not want to do. So we're in front of them anyway, so we'll do a little bit of wiggling, which again hurts your accuracy. You're weaving around all over the place. While not uh, particularly impactful in terms of the overall war, if we sink the light cruiser here, I think that would give our, our country a nice little morale boost. Do you know what it is? It's, um, I've been playing too much Distant Worlds, where you have to left click and drag to move uh, the map around, which is why I keep trying to do it here. <laughs> Brain not transitioning between games. Do I have more than a 1% hit chance? I do. I think we're, we were showing three earlier. Five. There you go. Definitely hitting things. So our tech has improved. Um, good quality is nothing special here at the minute. And I think we've had a range, fire, range finder improvement as well. So definitely landing a few slugs. Unfortunately, they're pretty small slugs at this stage. Light like cruisers. I'd like to see if we can do enough to at least sink one of these guys. Ever, if you get them to enough damage, we slow down and then you send in your uh, destroyers for the kill. I'll do my best not to eat a random torpedo, as is usually my bent. Right, yeah, I'm going to just do a slight wiggle here because I don't trust the uh, AI not to launch torpedoes at me. One of these guys is definitely slowed down. Okay, lads. Chance for gro glory. And that's... It's got to be pretty attractive to someone in here. Oh, yeah, one away. It was a miss, but I can't fault them for doing anything more than launching, to be perfectly honest. All you can ask... That's unfortunate, because that's probably going to cost us a destroyer. Here, what we're going to do? Let's turn together. Let's break up this way, which should hopefully gives someone an angle somewhere. Because the ship that collided would be pretty much stopped. So you, my friend, Charles Morris, hopefully see that in fire torpedo. Or not. This is uh, slightly frustrating, lads. Boys are just driving mental now. Right, are you uh, probably got beat up by the CL while you're doing all this? Yeah, not too badly damaged, actually. Slow yourself down, get yourself out of the fight a little bit. You could definitely stick a torpedo in this. Dude, let's get rid of turn together off. Straighten up. Ship out of the way. Go on, Charles. We got faith in you. Torpedoes are all good, all working, not damaged. You are almost sunk, so you will probably go down. So why not go down with the uh, a flourish? Go on, Charles. Yes. Maybe someone did it. Yes, we'll say that was Charles. Uh, British Grenadiers? I don't know. I'm uh, lost to that reference, I'm afraid, Kara. 
Okay, good. So this should be one dead CL. We are trading a destroyer for it, but that's not too bad. 500 tons for 5,000. Generally a good day's work. Oh, hello. Oh, the music was pretty nice. The music is from Victoria 2. Um, because there is no in-game music. And I had just been doing random stuff on Pretzel, but it didn't really fit the theme. I've gone with Victoria 2, and I believe Ardox is happy for kind of fair use of it. But I shall find out whether or not I get uh, copyright strikes. Always a fun little game to play. I'm slightly confident in that it should be fine because I have seen uh, other Real Waves videos with um, Victoria 2 music as background. Right, we have, uh, what do you call it, shelled this guy essentially death. He's now only going five knots. I would like to put Tupido in him, but I'm sl I am don't need to come. I'm at a better angle. You guys, you guys, get back over here. This is better. So we want to come at him because we have a solution and he does not. He keeps turning. Stop it. Don't you see I'm trying to kill you? They're running low on ammunition. That's okay. We're about to take out two-thirds of their cruiser force present. Our heavier six-inch caliber uh, primary weapons getting the job done here. Dude is going five knots, barely moving. You guys can do it, I have faith. Someone can launch a torpedo. So you can play this on captain's mode, where you get to control the torpedo launches. Um, it's generally seen as a much, much easier way of playing. Oh, torpedo out. Well done, Lawrence Rosu. Torpedo hit, beautiful. Okay. Good job, team. Put you back on the eye control, you can come support the main cruiser force. See if we can't scare off a San Francisco. You guys are kind of sailing about the place, but that's fine. Actually, what? Oh, you've, you've completely controlled your flooding, actually, Charles. You might survive. A hero. Problem is, um, you will ultimately revert to AI control, and you may speed up and rupture yourself. Another unfortunate side effect of not having full control in this mode, but there you go. Alright. Let's just end the battle. Where are we? Ah, we've still got plenty of time. Ammunition may fail us. Yeah, well, we're getting signed here. We're out of ammo for guns that may are. We find it's our rear turret, so let's just check. Uh, ammunition. Aft wing, forward wing, forward wing. Okay. Mainly HE is all we've got left. We may just have to call this one. Let's head back over to the convoy. And if they want to uh, not fight us, that's fine. Take speed up. Off we go. That's a really nice little uh, start of day. Ah, uh, the rain's come in, that's why. That was a satisfying win. That comes down to essentially better ship design. Uh, where are you guys? Hmm, I know there's a convoy around here somewhere. Oh, there. Oh, Peter Murphy. Okay. Oh. Hello, find you guys. I don't know what you're a convoy to, considering we are here and you're going east. I suppose it could be trade. Go over to the, uh, uh, the UK. So we did. So this is also our home area, and we also we have captured Maine. 
Brabant. But that's as much of America and mainland we can take, so you can't take the home holdings of people. Which, un unfortunately, there you go. Okay, awesome. Uh, we get a nice few victory points for this, I'm sure. Didn't sing anything. I am intrigued to see how many times we hit them. Uh, yeah, it was decent. So it was 60 odd hits mainly, so 30 odd of our 6 inches there. A minute of torpedo to finish them off. And much less hit. So this is. I hazard a guess this is the first one that ate a torpedo. This is the one that was uh, beaten into submission. Have a look at our dudes. Second hit percentage. So it's a destroyer. So yeah, okay, about three, three and a half, well, three to four percent. Actually, these guys are worth two and a half, two percent. Fair enough. So you can see, expending a lot of rounds of ammunition to get these kills, but it, we got them. That's all that really matters. Beautiful. Wow, that's a lot of VP actually from uh, what is essentially a couple of light cruisers. Well, I'll take it. We're going, we're going hard on the PR element. Um, we are on prize rules for submarine warfare. Sunk two merchants. So our submarines aren't going to do much. We're still too early on for them to be in the proper optimum phase. Hey, the Texas. We have had no more Tex. I think that would change it. Wants to change it again. So let's just go to the build screen. How much are these? Three. We can afford two. We'll make it work. Um, right, we won't actually, we'll do it separately because we only want, obviously, the Texas. Okay, and then I'm also going to want to build a ship on a Texas class. And since it was asked, we can have the Rundolski. There you go. This is our, technically a battle cruiser, but it's actually the largest and heaviest armoured ship that we have ever built. Uh, coming in at... Uh, Nine barrels, 14 inches uh, broadside. And having laid down two of the biggest ships we've ever built and kicked off yet another war with the Union, we are going to draw things to a close here. So as ever, if you're interested in coming out and seeing things live, there's links in the description below. Otherwise, I do hope you have enjoyed this one, and I'll see you all in the next one.